Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about the Python SciPy stats G score. Let's see what we are going to learn in this video. First we will know about the Python SciPy stats G score. After this Python SciPy stats G score none. Then we will understand Python SciPy stats G score axis and we will also learn about Python SciPy stats G score log. At the end we will know about Python SciPy stats modified G score. Now move to the first topic Python SciPy stats G score. In the SciPy stat module of the Python library SciPy, there is a method called G score that computes the G score of each data point in a sample related to the sample mean. Actually, it finds the distance between observation of the sample and the means of the sample containing the many observations with the help of standard deviation. The syntax of the method is as follows. scipy.stats.z score where parameters are a which is an array-like object containing the sample data axis which defines along which axis to compute the z score. By default, it is 1. If it is a non, then it computes over the whole array. Then it computes z score over the whole array A. DDOF It is a degree of freedom correction in the calculation of the standard deviation. By default, it is 0. Non policy Which defines how to handle when input contains none values. By default, it is a propagate. So, non policy accepts three options propagate, raise and omit. Propagate returns none values when given array contains none values. Raise which generate an error for the none values in the given arrow in the given array. Omit which perform the calculation ignoring which perform the calculation ignoring the none values within the array. Let's take an example. Import the required libraries or method. So here we are importing numpy is np then importing z score method from library scipy.stats execute the code now create an array using the method np.array this array variable will contain data points on which we will perform the z score method now pass the above created data points or array to a method z score to compute the z score of that array execute the code now as we can see the output shows the z score of the above array or the given array this is how to compute the z score of the given array. The next topic is Python SciPy stats z score none. We have computed the z score of the provided array in the previous topic of Python SciPy, but we have also learned about the sum of the methods parameter. The none policy parameter of the z score method controls how none values in the supplied arrays are handled. The none stands for not a number. So here in this topic, we will learn about how to use the none policy parameter of the method to handle none values in array while computing the z scores the parameter none policy has also options that handle the none values in different ways these options these options are defined as omit which is the ops this option computes the z score while ignoring any none values in the supplied arrays propagate it displays the none values raise it throws an error when an array contains a none values. Let's understand with an example how to handle none values while calculating the z score of the given array. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing numpy as np and import and importing method z score from the library scipy.stats. Execute the code. Now we have defined the array using the method np.array. And in this array, np.none represent the none values within the array execute the code now pass the above array to a method z score with parameter none policy equal to omit execute the code as we can see in the output when we define none policy equal to omit it computes the g score of other number and ignores the none values now change the parameter none policy to propagate execute the code as we can see in the output when we use the none policy equal to propagate it returns only the none values for the any none values within the array. Now again use the same code with none policy equal to raise. Execute the code as we can see in the output. When we use the none policy equal to raise, it shows error for the none values within the array. This is how to handle the none values within the, within the given array using the method z score with parameter none policy. The next topic is Python SciPy stats z score axis. In the previous Python SciPy topic, we have used the none policy option of the z score method to manage the none values in an array. In an array, here we will compute the z score along the chosen axis of a given array using a different parameter axis. The parameter axis accepts two values, 0 and 1, which represent the different axis of the given array. 
By default, the method computed the z score along the axis 0. Axes are defined for arrays more than one dimension. A two dimensional array has a two corresponding axes, the first running vertically downwards across rows, which is axis 0, and the second running horizontally across columns, which is axis 1. Let's take an example and compute the z-score of the given array along the different axes. Import the required libraries or methods. So here we are importing numpy is np, then importing method z-score from the library scipy.stats. Execute the code. Now create a two-dimensional array containing data point using the method np.array. Execute the code. Now pass the above created array to a method z-score without any axis parameter. But by default, it computes over x is equal to 0. Execute the code. Now again pass the same array to a method z score with x is equal to 1. Execute the code. As we can see in the output, both the code returns the z score of the given array in different ways. This is due to the axis. The first one compute the z score of the given array along the axis 0 and second one compute the z-score of the given array along the axis 1. This is how to compute the z-score of the given array along the specified axis. The next topic is Python SciPy stats z-score log. In this Python SciPy topic, we will use the log to convert the array and calculate the transformed array z-score. Let's understand with an example. Import the required libraries or method. So here we are importing numpy as np, then importing method z-score from the library scipy.stats. Execute the code. Now create an array using method np.array. Execute the code. Now transform the above array values to a other values or log values using the method np.log of numpy. Execute the code. Now pass the above log array, above log array data to a method z-score to compute the z-score of this log array data. Execute the code. This is how to apply log on the array and then apply the method z-score to compute the z-score of that array.